What's up, nerds? And have I got a story for you. Now, also down below, you can find the articles that I read to bring you this video, and you can read them for yourself or just watch this video where I'm going to read them to you. Also, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy the Pentagon down here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine. We just keep getting shoved to the back of the line. So please ask that you like, share, and subscribe. And I thank you in advance. All right, now that we got that out of the way, all the business, why don't we go ahead and get started? This one is upsetting, you guys, because I just want to say I think Star Wars is officially over and everything i i think that i think that disney is making so when it comes to star wars they're making so many bad decisions and i don't think that they know how to make a good one because uh because it was announced dave filoni was promoted to creative uh chief oh gosh to chief creative officer to oversee all future star wars storytelling carrie ba beck new head of development now i just want to say I think that Filoni, I, I honestly just don't think he likes Star Wars fans. And I think that he wants to make, I think he, you know, everybody wants to talk about how he's like George Lucas's apprentice. Now he is not a co-head of Lucasfilm. Like everybody was putting out all these stories about how he was a co-head. No, he's just chief creative officer. So now they're going to come to him and just be like, what do you think we should do? And I have to be honest with you. Dave Filoni, when it comes to his Star Wars, I love the animated shows except for The Bad Batch. The Bad Batch is terrible. That show sucks balls. I do not like it. I'll cover the last season, though. But when it comes to uh, Clone Wars, which he had a part in, and when it comes to Rebels, I think those shows are good. I even like the first couple of seasons of both of those where everybody kind of gives it, uh, you know, you know, they give it a raw deal and everything. But I, I think they're pretty good. So I, but I think that Dave Filoni has just, he has walked down the path of Kathleen Kennedy so much because he's such a pussy boy that he's given in to whatever they say that I don't think there's any salvation for him. So let's read this article a little bit and I'll get into more of my feelings because Kathleen Kennedy, I'm telling you right now, I have never seen somebody fail upward so much like this woman. So, and she did it to herself. Because so, she said, fuck you fans and wanted to make Star Wars into something that it wasn't just so she could please herself and people that weren't Star Wars fans. And I go, why are you doing this and everything? And I just and and I'll talk about it a little bit more as we get into this. But um, yeah. All right. So it says Lucas uh, film is undergoing slight structural changes in its leadership. Dave Filoni, former head of animation, who was promoted to executive creative director at Lucasfilm a few years ago, will assume the title of chief creative officer at the company. He revealed to Vanity, Vanity Fair. I was going to read that Vanity Fair article, but... It, it, like this little snippet right here was pretty much all it was. And I was just like, mm, I don't need to read the rest of this because nobody cares about Dave Filoni and his stupid hat. I love how he wears that cowboy hat like he's a cowboy. I'm like, mm, you're not a cowboy. In the past, Filoni was brought on board projects once they were already in development, like the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, which he and John Favreau consulted on. Now he will be there from the very beginning, he told the publication. In this new role, it's open up to basically everything that's going on. When we're planning the future of what we're going what we're doing now i'm involved at the inception phase i'm not telling people what to do but i do feel i'm trying to help them tell the best story that they want to tell i need to be a help across the galaxy here like a part of the jedi council almost i mean i don't see that it sounds like to me that he's just going to come in and be like give them studio notes you know give them notes and they can either take that or they can just send it right back and me personally i feel like people in hollywood are just so stuck up their own asses that they're just gonna be like thanks dave this was just like such good advice buddy okay bye and they're gonna be like dave doesn't know what he's talking about all right so the announcement comes a month and a half after the end of ahsoka on disney plus the first live action series he was the sole showrunner of as filoni explained it was important for him before taking on a bigger role at the company to get his hands dirty in the day-to-day -day creative process of live action development after years in the animation division. Now, I want to be honest with you. I think Dave Filoni's best work is on animation. And I personally, if you watch any of my videos, I didn't like Ahsoka. I thought it was bad. It was bad. And I'm not judging anybody that liked it. If you liked it, by all means, have at it. And I'm so jealous of people that love stuff and I don't like it because 
I wanted to like Ahsoka. I did because Ahsoka is such a great character. But I was watching it and I was like, this is not Ahsoka. This is the Sabine Wren show. And I was like, and it was just so like, I like the things I wanted to feel on that show. I did not feel them. I felt the opposite. And it was just so convoluted at times that I'm just like, what's going on here? I don't, I don't know what's going on here. Okay, so it says... Uh, the first step to the executive produce and direct a few episodes of The Mandalorian back in 2019, aided by the vet, uh, veteran John Favreau. With the experience behind him, he then took on the challenge of creating Ahsoka from scratch and bringing it to life. Favreau was an executive producer there too, but from all accounts, it was Filoni's baby all along. Which I just go, that's probably the best choice for him to 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 be the one to, because he created the character, to kind of, you know, herald it into live action. But at the same time, it wasn't good. Now he feels he has what it takes to guide filmmakers to achieve the best story they want to tell in a galaxy far, far away. I don't think so, but we'll see. Uh, to true uh, to truly help filmmakers, it was really important for me to experience it firsthand. I can also lend a perspective on the challenges of telling these stories will present uh, and uh, I feel more capable of actually being helpful outside of just saying, well, Jedi are like this and Sith are like this. I mean, I also just want to be like directing wise. He didn't blow me away. You know what I'm saying? I, I like watching uh, Ahsoka. I wasn't just like, oh, this is a really good shot or, oh, wow. The camera angle on this is just really, really good. I was just like, mm, okay. The, the Vanity Fair article also went out of its way to stress that everything that was announced at Star Wars Celebration this past April is still in the works and Lucasfilm fully intends to release their slate. That includes the live action series, The Acolyte. Ugh. I have a feeling that's going to be really bad. The Skeleton Crew, which nobody asked for and nobody really wants, which are the post-production at the moment, uh, but also the feature, uh, feature films from uh, Charmin Abdi Choi, uh, James Mangold, and yes, Dave Filoni. However, it's still unclear what Filoni's next step will be. I still don't think that those movies are going to be... I mean, the Ray movie will definitely get made because they are all in on Ray, and I don't understand why. But uh, the other two, I mean, I'm the James Mangold movie is up in the air. I do not know if that's going to get made. Um, this uh, the season two renewal of Ahsoka is still not official. Well, and I see why Ahsoka did not do good in the ratings. You guys, it, it, it did actually pretty bad, you know, in terms of Star Wars and in terms of ratings. I'm not going to read the rest of this article, you guys, just because I, I I don't think we need to because it just talks about like all this other stuff, but. Ahsoka didn't do, like, people didn't watch. I mean, they came out, I believe, for season, uh, episode five, they showed up. I can't remember off the top. Oh, Nielsen, I can't remember off the top of my head. But I just want to say, I don't think people are interested in Dave Filoni. And I'm talking about overall. People are interested in Dave Filoni's Star Wars because it's very, it's very, like, you know, like, all these, like, these, you know, like, in, in this one, he's talking about the, 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 the force gods or whatever the um oh shoot what are they called uh, i can't remember off the top of my head you know the father the son and the daughter and everything and i have to be honest with you that shit in clone wars was like my least favorite stuff like i'm like i'm not interested in this at all but you know dave filoni is all about it and i feel like he's gonna go full speed ahead and is that gonna make them money and star wars needs to make money you know they're only doing tv shows right now and i don't know man i probably won't be seeing these movies because i don't care anymore uh star wars and i was gonna say this before but i'll say it now um and i'll say it now but after the last jedi i was like all in on star wars i love star wars i literally spent so much money every year and i'm talking about like coffee mugs stationery, action figures i would buy so many action figures but after The Last Jedi, I literally stopped buying Star Wars stuff. Like, I just, I don't buy anything Star Wars at all. Like, I don't buy anything. I think, I think I bought a lightsaber for my kids one time because they wanted one. But uh, other than that, and it was the cheap, like, $3 one at the, the store or whatnot. But I don't buy anything Star Wars anymore, like, at all. So, I mean, Star Wars uh, is is just, I feel like it's just, you know... It's just a dying brand, in my opinion, I think. And they need to either revamp it, refresh it, or just, you know, like uh, like uh, Luke says, just let it, uh, just let the, the, just let Star Wars die, okay?
But tell me, what do you guys think about this? How do you guys feel about Dave Filoni getting, uh, you know, bumped up, you know, even though I personally just think that, you know, it, I, I just, and he's such a dick to fans. I'm sorry. I don't think he likes Star Wars anymore. I don't think he likes the, the Star Wars fandom. I think that he's just, you know, he's just in it for the paycheck and he's doing, he's making Star Wars whatever he wants. He's like Kathleen Kennedy. He says, fuck you fans. And, you know, I, I honestly hope his Star Wars and her Star Wars, Kathleen Kennedy is going to renew her contract. I, I, I bet you, I bet you, which is a bad decision, but you know, what are you going to do? We don't make these decisions. We just sit back and watch them. Watch them crash and burn, crash and burn, Lucasfilm. Um, I'm okay with it. <laughs> but tell me what you guys think. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you make channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys on my next uh, week. You guys have a good week. Bye.